Hey, Radical fans, Phil here, and I'm here with our favorite ball tester, Throbot. Hey, and I'm Andrew. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about uh, PAP. Somebody wrote in about finding the PAP or how important the PAP is on the positive access point on a bowling ball, and Throbot graciously allowed us to use his ball. And as you can see, he has a little hole here that we've gotten people condemn us for having a weight hole in a ball. Throbot, <laughs> this is the best part. Does Throbot use every one of the holes when he bows? How can he have that? Throbot has no fingers. <laughs> He's not using any of the holes. He's not it's, using any of the holes. It's just to know it's PAP, and that's how you put it onto the machine. Right, the so way. the machine has, comes off on the PAP. But anyhow, um, in this case, four and three quarters over and uh, a half up, is that's close enough. How far, what is it? <laughs> uh, Why'd you stop me? That would have been okay. Who would have disputed that? Uh, everybody who has the internet connection. <laughs> because this is... That's his access point, actually, and that's how it holds the ball in place. And that's how you get it on the same access every time to change ball rotation, grab rate, Correct. speed, to make Correct. sure that it's always right. going off the same number. The same access, but the rotation we can dial in. Yep. Yep. So that's one of the topics for today, just a quick one, and uh, we'll talk a little bit later about uh, finding the, and using the access point, the positive access point, the PAP.